Authentic Experts with Kara James, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet. Hear their stories and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Authentic Experts with Kara James is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Kara. Hello, everybody. It's Kara here with Megan Nolan and uh, <laughs> at the Authentic Experts podcast. So excited to have you, Megan. You have so much to share, and I can't wait for you to share it with the audience. So we'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell us uh, tell us all about your business. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Great to be here with you all today. I'm so honored to be able to connect and share with you all. So a little bit about me is I help purpose-driven women who happen to own businesses to be able to get out of self-care overwhelm by creating an empowering morning routine that not only leaves them amazing, but helps to create holistic health and success. Because I believe that when you are thriving, then that sets the foundation for your business to thrive because you're such a key element of your business that the way that you show up, the way that you feel has such an amazing impact on that. We all know what it's like to feel kind of, oh, I have to go and you know do this or this mm-hmm. or getting that overwhelmed state. And we also know how good it feels to feel in flow and feel lit up and excited. And we know that Things start to flow a lot more easily when we're in that second state. And of course, we have the ups and downs, and that's totally normal. But using the tools of yoga and exercise and mental fitness and intention setting and helping women to create a routine that brings all of those pieces together so that you have all of that in place and you can check the most important box of all taking care of your amazing self so that you can go out and make the amazing impact that you are here to make. Love it. That is so, so important. I was just talking with somebody about this just a few days ago about how critical it is. It doesn't matter. I mean, yes, it matters how hard you work. (laughs) It's almost pushing you to that point, right? It's we need to take a step back and say what, you know, we we have to take care of ourselves. What are we doing to ourselves when we're going from 6 a.m. to, you know, 8 p.m.? And it's not even just work. It's family life. It's, you know, taking care of in-laws. And I know I have a lot of things going on in that realm, too. And um, even though the kids are gone, there's just thing, different things that that come into life, um, different variables. And we need to learn how to how to handle that and how to set our schedule and take care of ourselves properly, no matter what it is. It's not just moms with young kids, although that is, <laughs> that's probably the toughest when you're trying to run a business, but um, it's it's just all different areas. And, uh, and even tr- <laughs> we've had a lot of things just as far as losses or, or things that commitments and th- places we want to be, whether it's calling hours, right. Or events or, things that we're running for ourselves. There's so much going on in life that um, it's wonderful to have someone like you to help, you know, help us keep, yeah, absolutely. Keep us aligned and enjoying life. So Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you for what you do. Mm, Thank you. Yeah. Who, Who is your ideal client for your business? I know it can range, but what what do you typically see as far as age group or like I was just mentioning to you about young moms and there's, but there's so many different variables. We all have stress. So what do you, uh, who, who, who is your typical client? She is usually between 35 and 45. She's been in business for three to five years and so has established credibility and consistency in her business. And she loves to learn. She loves personal development. She loves to, you know, try new things, try this new workout, try this mm-hmm. new app, but really hasn't found a way to weave it all together consistently. And as such, kind of has that little voice in her head of which we all have that is saying, you could be doing better at this. Like, mm-hmm. what's the problem here? Why can't you figure it out? You've done all this. You have this external success in your business but why aren't you doing this? And so it's kind of nagging in the background and ultimately she knows and she values her health and she knows that success has many components to it, at least I believe. And so do my clients that one of which is 
you thriving, feeling healthy, feeling, having the energy to do what all the things that you love outside of your business, in addition to inside of your business. Right. And so that's sort of a, a quick overview of the women that I work with. Yeah, love it. And it, and I'm sure they're banging down your door. There's plenty of them out there. And I see it too, as when they come to me, just really, some of them are really flat out, right? With all the things. And that's what I try to help as far as that goes, you know, just getting things more systemized, more, uh, you know, streamlined. But mm -hmm. yours is, of course, <laughs> with it being their health is critical. So as the saying goes, ain't, you know, nobody's happy if mom's not happy, right? <laughs> um, same with the business owner. So yeah, mm -hmm. great. And where, as far as in the country, where you had mentioned that you're, um, you know, well, the age group, but where do you do retreats or do you have outside things going on? Um, well, I live on Maui, so I work with people in person here. I have local clientele, but I also understand that it's not always easy to get here to work with me in person. So I do virtual sessions with clients all around the globe. I have group coaching program that leads people on a journey of creating that empowering morning routine. So that's something she loves and looks forward to. I do have self-paced programs online, and then I have virtual retreats that I run quarterly. I, I'm Wonderful. working towards quarterly right now. It's three times a year, but quarterly is the goal. And then, yes, I do, because I do live in such a beautiful, magical mm -hmm. place that I do have a vision of having an in-person retreat potentially in 2023 or 2024. Wonderful. Yeah, I know I, I, for Maui, I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, you could absolutely. <laughs> and but online now, too, has just it's opened up such a huge um, opportunity for the women, right? For those who can't get to Maui, even though we want to, <laughs> uh, you know, this is amazing. So yeah, well, I'm looking forward to, I'm to keep my eyes peeled for when you do have that in Maui and love to come join you. Mm, yeah. You. Yeah. So what advice would you give, you know, the women, your clients, uh, as far as I don't want to get too deep into your morning routine. I love, I do have a morning routine myself and it's critical, but can you give a little tidbit um, of what you share or what you offer your, your clients? Absolutely. So the tools that I share inside the warrior's journey, which is the framework that I work with, there's three components to creating an empowering morning routine. One of which we we often kind of skip over because we're focused on the physical element of it. And the first pillar that I think is really important, especially as we approach, you know, a new quarter, a new year, whatever time you're watching this in is expanding the vision that you have for yourself and going back into that ripples of impact that you are going to create with your work and knowing when you show up in that vibrantly aligned state, what that makes possible for the people that you get to serve mm -hmm. and what that makes possible for your own growth and evolution. Because in order to achieve that and get to the top of your mountain and achieve your beautiful goals, you get to evolve into a more fuller, authentic, aligned, expressive version of yourself. So really connecting to that you. Mm -hmm. And that's really the essence of the yoga practice and the tools that I share is helping you to connect to that you and coming out of the busy, noisy chatter of the mind and coming into the stillness and the wisdom and the guidance of your heart where you're in that thriving state. So who is that you? Who mm -hmm. is she? Who is that? Who are they? Who is he? Whatever it is for you, what qualities do they practice every day? How do they show up for themselves every day? And just knowing that that version of you already exists inside of you and really connecting to them intentionally uh -huh. and activating that energy. And some people, you know, use this from this, the perspective of doing the visualization of your goals or meditating on it or saying the affirmations to connect to it. But I know, and, and quantum physics and many different elements and, and many different practices know that that energetic frequency is so important for you. So connecting to that essence within you and beginning to embody that. And so just knowing that if you expand the vision and you connect to that you and you know who they are, and then how can you begin to experience that now? And that's where the movement practices and the physical practices come into mm -hmm. it. But being okay with the fact that sometimes that connection is going to just be 
a couple big deep breaths before you get on, especially for moms that have young kids or for someone that's really busy that day. But making that intentional decision to tap into that energy, because we all know everything is energy, right? Nice. So tapping into that energy each day and being okay with the fact that some days that's just going to be like 20 seconds and other days that might be 20 minutes. Maybe sometimes it's two hours, depending on the window of time that you have and being okay with that. But just knowing that that consistency in decision and commitment to yourself is truly where we start to see that evolution and that growth start to happen because that's more important than, you know, doing like several hours of it once a month. That's great. But like having just that little step forward towards that version of you by activating it today that's really a great place to start because then we get rid of that like you know that voice and or beating ourselves up for not doing this that or the other thing but just having that top priority being how you feel and how you show up then that's a really great start absolutely oh my goodness consistency is key and you're right. I mean, with everything, right? As far as as a business owner showing up online, what have you. But even I find myself or getting to the gym or if, it, if it's not consistent, it tends to slip away or that walk or the eating healthy or whatever it may be. If you're not consistent, it, it, it slips away. So yeah, absolutely. Love it. So it's so thrilled that you joined me here today. And uh, I'd love to know what book you're reading now or a favorite book uh, that you could share with the audience. Sure. I'm the kind of person that reads multiple books at the same time. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and, and I've learned that um, one of my attempts at reading was through osmosis, i.e. laying down and trying to read while I'm, you know, getting tired at the end of the day and <laughs> yeah. just wreaking havoc on all my books. So <laughs> what I've gone back to, what I've read several times is The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success by Deepak Chopra. So it's universal laws. And it's a really powerful tool set because it it not only gives that perspective of interconnection and support yeah. and how we can really activate all of these different tools that we have within us, which is what we believe in the yoga practice that you have all the tools already, yeah. you just get to practice them. And so that book I, I go back to, and I've probably read it, I don't know how many times, but it's, it's a really powerful one. It's nice because it's a short little read. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually read it. I've actually mm-hmm. seen Deepak Chopra live here. Oh. Yeah. In Syracuse. It was, oh gosh, probably about 10 years ago now, but yeah. I, I Yeah. I'm a, I'm a follower believer. <laughs> he's, he's great. So, well, thank mm-hmm. you for sharing that. I know sometimes I forget about all these, these great books here. So where can we find you, Megan? What do you have, you know, coming up or where would you like people to reach out to you? Oh, thank you. Well, I have a tool that I'd love to share, and it is the energy fix blueprint. So a really fast way to shift your energy so that you can come back into that place of calm, centered groundedness in just a few minutes and using the tool, some of the tools that we've already spoken to today. So you can go to gift from Megan dot com and grab that. So it's giftfrommegan.com. And it's a blueprint that you can follow anytime, anywhere. So you can integrate it into your morning time when you are having those moments, when you're just kind of in that frantic frazzle, bah, and your brain's telling you, you can't stop because you have too much to do. Actually, that's the best time to stop okay. and reset <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, because I'm you're in that, that frantic out today. Stress. Pardon? I said, I'm going to print that out today. Okay, good. <laughs> Great. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks so much for joining us. And we look forward to, to seeing you here soon. Thank you so much for having me. Thank it's you. been lovely to chat. And yes, once you grab that blueprint, if you have any questions about anything that I shared today, or anything about the blueprint, please feel free to just reply back to the email. I'd love to chat and connect with you there. Wonderful. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to Authentic Experts with Kara James. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates, and we'll see you on the next episode.